Okay, this is an algebra balance scale, and now that we're getting into algebra, it would be really good to go through how to solve the first one. Remember, there's 50, and the challenge is to get through, or try to get through all 50 by June. Um, this is set up that, so for every arm, each arm is equal to the other side. Um, each of these are weights, so this square is the same as this square because it's balanced. This oval is by itself, but this entire side is equal to this side. What that would look like algebraically is that an oval plus a square plus a square is equal to these two circles because this is equal, right? You're also given clues per every puzzle. 36 is the total weight, circle minus the square is greater than 3, and all shapes weigh a single digit amount. Your job is to find out what each weighs. Um, you also want to do is try to simplify a little bit. So I'm going to rewrite this. Ovals plus two of the squares are equal to two of the circles. So you can see right away that two circles equal two squares plus an oval. These things are more, obviously. This isn't a 20, right? This is a circle. I'll put a little X's here to make sure that you can tell. Well, if the whole weight is 36, then this side has to be 18. And this is how you should really start solving this. This side has to be 18 too, because they're equal. This is 18, and these are even. This will be 9, and this will be 9. Problem solved. We solve the circle. We write down circle equals 9. Then our job is to find this, and this is really where I want you to key in on a very sophisticated form of guess and check. It's called an if-then table. If one thing is equal to something, something else has to be equal to another thing. This is very, very common in algebra. If, <clears throat> let's see, the square is equal to something, the oval has to be a certain amount, right? So, based on this clue, circle minus the square is greater than 3. The circle is 9 then 9 minus the square is greater than 3. Well, let's start with 4. The square is 4, each of these is 4, total is 8. This would have to be 10. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 10 is 18. But clue number 3, right here, says it can't be 10 because all the weights are single digit unit, uh, amounts. So this wouldn't work. But at least we're keeping track of our work, right? Anything you can think of now that would still satisfy clue number two. Nine minus something is greater than three. Let's try five. The square is five. Five plus five is ten. Ten plus what is eighteen? Eight. Does this work? Well, circle nine minus five is four. It's greater than three. Everything is a single digit, and this totally works. So the square is going to be equal to five and the oval with the stripes is going to be equal to 8. This is how you should solve every single algebra puzzle is to show all your work, right? make sure that you're documenting everything, and then write individual shapes and give the weight. That is the algebra puzzle and your challenge is to get through 50 by the end of the year.